Hello, welcome to the earnings update of quarter 4 financial year 2021 of Muthut Finance Limited and its subsidiaries. At the outset, I wish everybody good health and safety which is of primary importance in these unsettling times. Let us abide by the rules and regulations set by the government to help us stay afloat during the pandemic. Muthoot Finance Limited ended quarter four financial year 2021 with exceedingly great numbers. This financial year was also witness to a few milestones in the business history of our company. Our loan portfolio crossed the 52,000 crore, which is the result of our undaunted struggle for excellence. Our efforts gave results with the total loan disbursement for the year raising up to 124,000 crores in this financial year. This financial year also saw yet another landmark achievement in our total revenue crossing rupees 10,000 crores. Our net worth also surpassed the 15,000 crores this financial year. We also had our profit before tax going beyond the 5,000 crore mark post this time. Now to more details of our company's performance this financial year. The consolidated loan AUM increased by 24,000 year on year at 58,200 crores for the financial year 2021. The standalone AUM of Muthut Finance Limited, the flagship company of the group, increased by 26% year on year, touching 52,622 crores. Muthut Finance and its subsidiaries showed a spike of 21,000 year on year in its consolidated profit after tax with an astounding 3,819 crores for financial year 2021. So also, the standalone profit after tax of Muthut Finance showed an upswing of 23% year-on-year at 3,722 crores. Muthut Finance serves its vast customer base through a large network of 4,632 standalone branches spanning the length and breadth of India. The digital initiatives of Muthut have also helped thousands of customers during the COVID-19 pandemic, which resulted in an upsurge of 24% of customers transacting online. We are proud to have a blemish-free decade of stakeholder value creation starting from 2011 when the company got listed. Our share price increased from 175 per share in 2011 to 1,500 per share by today showing a whooping hike of 500%. Our market capitalization jumped from 6,504 crores in 2011 to a voluminous 48,380 crores in 2021, a good percentage of increase this year. During the financial year 2021, our company paid out a dividend of 200% on a face value share of rupees 10, resulting in a payout of 802 crores to our shareholders. Uttut Finance has a stable source of funding and our funding instruments enjoy the highest rating among gold loan companies. We have to our credit, Chrysil and Ikra upgrading long-term credit rating from AA to AA plus stable. The company also maintains a capital adequacy ratio of 27.44%, which is well above the statutory requirement. Now on to the performance of the subsidiaries of Muthut Finance Limited for this year. Asia Asset Finance, Sri Lanka is a 73% subsidiary of Muthut Finance. 
the lone aom of asia asset finance stood at sri lankan rupees 14 billion at the end of 2021 compared to 13.8 billion at the end of last year muthut home finance is a wholly owned subsidiary of muthut finance the lone aom of muthut home finance stood at rupees 1700 crores at the end of the financial year 2021 the other subsidiary Muthut Insurance Brokers Private Limited, an IRDA licensed direct insurance broker, is also a 100% subsidiary of the company. In financial year 2021, Muthut Insurance Brokers sold 32 lakh policies and an impressive profit after tax of 31.6 crores compared to 10.4 crores in the previous financial year. Bellstar Microfinance Limited is a 70% subsidiary of Muthut Finance. It has 649 branches spread across 18 states and one union territory. Bellstar's gross loan AUM stood at 3,299 crores at the end of the year compared to 2,631 crores at the end of last year, a robust 25% year-on-year growth in the loan EU. Bellstar also reported a profit after tax of rupees 46 crores at the end of the financial year. Muthut Money Limited is a 100% subsidiary of Muthut Finance. It mainly extends vehicles and commercial equipment loans. The gross AU of Muthut Money stood at rupees 366 crores with a profit after tax of 3.7 crores for the financial year 2021. The quarter for the financial year 2021 highlights of Mutut Finance Limited and its subsidiaries. The diversified business of the Mutut Finance Group consists of Mutut Finance Limited, the holding company and the subsidiaries, Mutut Home Fin India Limited, Bale Star Microfinance Limited, Mutut Money Limited, Asia Asset Finance PLC, Mutut Insurance Brokers Private Limited, Mutut Asset Management Private Limited and Mutut Trustee Private Limited. The consolidated gross loan assets of Mutut Finance Limited and its subsidiaries stood at Rs 58,280 crores at the end of financial year 2021 compared to Rs 46,870 crores at the end of financial year 2020, reporting a year-on-year -year growth of 24%. The consolidated profit of Mutut Finance Limited and its subsidiaries showcased a profit of Rs 3,818 crores at the end of financial year 2021 compared to Rs 3,168 crores at the end of financial year 2020 recording a year-on-year -year growth of 21%. The gross loan assets of Mutut Finance Limited the flagship company stood at Rs 52,622 crores at the end of financial year 2021 compared to Rs 41,610 crores at the end of financial year 2020, showing a year-on-year -year growth of 26%. The standalone profit of Mutut Finance Limited the flagship company stood at Rs 3,722 crores at the end of financial year 2021 compared to Rs 3,018 crores at the end of financial year 2020 recording a year-on-year -year growth of 23%. As on 31st of March 2021, Mutut Finance Limited has 171 tons of gold jewelry kept as security against loans advanced in its vaults. Mutut Finance has a strong promoter interest in the business with a 74% stake. During the financial year 2021, Mutut Finance Limited paid out a dividend of 200% to its equity investors. Mutut Finance serves its vast customer base through a network of 4,632 branches spanning across the length and breadth of India. The digital initiatives of Mutut Finance have gained momentum with 24% of customers transacting online. The loan at home map developed by Mutut Finance has enabled thousands of customers avail gold loan from the comforts of their home. As on 31st of March 2021, the app has been downloaded more than 10,000 times. 
Mutut Finance has a strong capital base of net worth of Rs 15,238 crores at the end of financial year 2021 compared to Rs 11,571 crores at the end of financial year 2020. The gross loan assets under management of Mutut Finance stood at Rs 51,926 crores at the end of financial year 2021 compared to Rs 40,772 crores at the end of financial year 2020, showing a year-on-year -year growth of 27%. Mutut Finance has stable sources of funding primarily from secured non-convertible debentures, bank borrowings and commercial paper issues. Our funding instruments enjoy highest ratings amongst gold loan companies. In quarter 4 of the financial year 2021, Mutut Finance showcased strong levels of average monthly disbursements and collections of Rs 7,700 crores and Rs 7,000 crores respectively. Regarding the safety of our gold loan portfolio at the end of March 2021 from the lender's perspective, Mutut Finance enjoys a margin of safety on loans of 25% and from the borrower's perspective, equity of the borrower in the gold ornaments net of loans availed stands at 37%. The net interest margin of Mutut Finance Limited stood at 14.24% in the financial year 2021. The return on average loan assets stood at 7.99% in the financial year 2021. Mutut Finance Limited maintains a capital adequacy ratio of 27.44% well above the statutory requirement. Mutut Finance has 25,911 skilled and groomed workforce at the end of financial year 2021. Now on to the subsidiaries of Mutut Finance Limited. Asia Asset Finance PLC is a 73% subsidiary of Mutut Finance Limited. The loan AUM of Asia Asset Finance PLC stood at Sri Lankan rupees 14,002 million in the financial year 2021 as against Sri Lankan rupees 13,839 million in the financial year 2020. Mutut Home Fin India Limited is a wholly owned subsidiary of Mutut Finance Limited. The loan AUM of Mutut Home Fin India Limited stood at 1,704 crores at the end of financial year 2021. Mutut Insurance Brokers Private Limited and IRD a licensed direct insurance broker is a 100% subsidiary of Mutut Finance Limited. In the financial year 2021, Mutut Insurance Brokers Private Limited sold 32,23,737 policies earning a profit after tax of 316 crores. Bale Star Microfinance Limited is a 70% subsidiary of Mutut Finance Limited. As on March 31, 2021, Bale Star Microfinance Limited has 649 branches spread across 18 states and one union territory in India. Bale Star's gross loan AUM stood at 3,299 crores at the end of financial year 2021 compared to 2,631 crores at the end of financial year 2020 with a robust 25% year-on-year growth in loan AUM. Bale Star reported a profit after tax of 46.7 crores at the end of financial year 2021. Mutut Money Limited is a 100% subsidiary of Mutut Finance Limited. It mainly extends vehicle and commercial equipment loans. The gross loan AUM of Mutut Money Limited stood at 366 crores at the end of financial year 2021. Mutut Money Limited reported a profit after tax of 3.7 crores at the end of financial year 2021 compared to 2.7 crores at the end of financial year 2020. As we continue to tread on our growth path, we are extremely thankful to the relentless support and trust bestowed on us by all our stakeholders, including our shareholders, investors, employees and most importantly our valued customers i implore the almighty to give us all the much needed strength to overcome the current pandemic crisis i once again wish you all and your beloved ones safety good health and a very promising year ahead thank you one and all jai hind